At midday, a time to stop, reflect and remember. In the places that once were bustling and the places where they've never stopped working. The Queen sent a bouquet to St Bart's Hospital in London where the Duke of Edinburgh was just treated. In her message, she paid tribute to the immeasurable service of those who've supported us through the last year. And the Prince of Wales also offered his thoughts. Whatever our faith or philosophy may be, let us take a moment together to remember those who have been lost, to give thanks for their lives and to acknowledge the inexpressible pain of parting. The Prime Minister has praised the great spirit shown by the British people, marking the minute's silence privately inside number 10, from where, a year ago, he announced the lockdown. I urge you, at this moment of national emergency, to stay at home, protect our NHS and save lives. So much has happened in the year since. Today has been a chance to take stock. Any reflections on the year we've had? Yeah, how terribly sad it's been. Um, just how everybody's suffered, really. I lost my, my mum throughout lockdown, and my dad deteriorated with dementia, and I have been able to see him. So it's just been all really, really hard. I remember saying to everybody it was going to be three months, and we should make use of the three months and look after ourselves. So it's been a tough journey. The Labour leader was at London's Chelsea and Westminster Hospital, thanking the staff and reflecting on the last year. We owe both the NHS staff and those on the front line and all the families uh, of those that have died uh, to learn the lessons uh, of the last 12 months, to have an inquiry and to learn what went wrong to make sure that we never repeat that. There are plenty of questions many want answered, but before all that no-doubt noisy argument and debate, there has been a power in today's silence. Handy Bell, 5 News.